Ferrari. Uh, there is so much to catch up on. It really is amazing here. So when I moved here, when I came to California, I had two like two big picture goals. One was to really slow down in life. I wanted to slow down so I could spend more time doing things like being with my family and doing things that I like doing and basically everything but work. I wanted to move here and work less. Say, Mr. Angel, I'm lost. Would you get my So uh, this, uh, this is my new studio. This studio is actually just a small room above my garage. This is it, and I love it. I mean, it's really fantastic here. Um, but the space isn't done yet, so I'm not gonna do like a formal studio tour. That will have to happen in a, in a different video. So this video is called My Life in LA, and to kind of cut to the chase, life here so far is really good. What's it, um, what's it like with me since we got to California? You're always around, it's nice. Yeah. I've still been running a lot, almost every day, but instead of running on like the concrete of New York City, I'm running on the beach. But the running out here has been fantastic and beyond just the environment, the weather. It's like this every single day. It's never not sunny here. But I've also been, but I've also been doing a lot of hiking, like Trail running, trail running, this kind of running. It's like, it's easier on the joints, easier on the knees, but also, what a great way to see Los Angeles. things like I go everywhere on this super 73 almost never get in the car the boosted board will always be my first love but the bikes are kind of calm plus room for a passenger usually my passenger is Francine not not Dan and yeah I always make sure that the kids wearing a helmet when she's on the electric bike when she's on the super 73 with me you have to respect safety. The other thing I've been doing a lot of here that I really enjoy is surfing. I'm pointing to this surfboard here, see? Uh, that was a gift from YouTube. Surfing is something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to learn. I've always wanted to be good at, but I've never really had the opportunity. But I'm kind of close to the beach here, so I've, I've been doing it. I just love being on the water. I also love being away from cell phones and being away from social media and being away from other people and being in nature. Surfing is very quickly becoming my second favorite sport. But I haven't been surfing much lately. You see, I broke my collarbone here a couple weeks ago. It was a pretty severe break. So you'd characterize that as severe? Yes, I would say it's severe. Yeah, it looks severe to me. Relax. More x-rays. 
so that's 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 like the fun stuff I've been doing. Those are the activities I've been doing to pass the time and try my best to like, you know, in, enjoy the fun parts of life. But all that, all that enjoying life and building a life around family and all this fun stuff that I've been doing since we moved here, all of that is in the shadow of what was like the hardest, probably most tumultuous, like five years of my life professionally. As long as you've known me, work has been my life and everything else, including family, has been on the sidelines. And I've never been like, I've never been honest with myself about that because I think it took taking a minute to look at it, which I've been doing here, to realize that, to realize just how much I put everything on hold for the hustle, for the grind, for, for finding success in my career. And I would describe like the last couple months, the last two and a half months here with all the fun and all the family and all this enjoying life, it feels like rehab. But instead of going to rehab to overcome an addiction to a substance, I feel like I'm in rehab to overcome an addiction to work. And I don't know that I've completely overcome my addiction to work. I definitely haven't. I haven't overcome the passion that I have to, to make things, but taking these couple of months and this huge life change just to sort of take inventory on my life and what my life is and what my priorities are, there's been a couple of big takeaways. I've always been aware of how amazing life is, of how amazing my family is and how amazing that I'm a healthy person and how amazing that I get to do what I do for a living. None of that's ever been lost on me. But there's been this weird emotional reaction to it. And Candace calls it, I think it's Candace told me this, but imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome can be defined as a collection of feelings of inadequacy that persist despite evident success. Imposters suffer from chronic self-doubt and a sense of intellectual fraudulence that override any feeling of success or external proof of their comp competence. Okay, that's a little extreme. I guess what I'm trying to say is like, I'm happy and I'm fortunate and I'm thankful for this life that I get to live. Hitting this hard reset of moving across the country of taking a moment not to work and enjoy my, my life and the people that I love has, has forced me to sort of reconsider how I live my life and what my priorities are. So with that, moving ahead, I'm putting my family and my health and all those kinds of things, those are now my number one. And it's a promise I've made to myself and it's something that I want to maintain. I'm still going to make YouTube videos. And if I make too many videos, please put in the comments, Casey. Stop making videos, go play with your kids. Uh.